Hello there, my gorgeous friends on the internet. In today's episode, I want to show you a few awesome things that you can do with Figma. Uh, you can create these awesome micro animations, I would say. So let me just show you quickly what you can do because there's quite a lot. So I put together two examples that I want to teach you. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And then I'll leave you alone. So here's a button toggle. So take a look at this, quite cool. Now, it's 30 frames per second, the video is 30 frames per second, so it's not going to look as smooth, but if you remake it, of course, it's 60 frames, it's going to look quite nice. But that's one, and I also made another one, which is this one. So, quite cool, and we can do this quite fast, actually. We can probably put it together in like 15 minutes or so, both of them. So, yeah, let's get started. I'm going to close this up. So, just open up Figma, and... The first thing that we're going to do, I'm just going to set up a new artboard here. So I'm going to go to the artboard tool and click on MacBook. Boom. So we have MacBook 5. I'm going to position it right here. Okay. I'm going to smooth out the borders for no apparent reason. I just like to do it like that. Okay. So the first step is to make the background. So I'm going to go here and just going to go here to the tools where you have the shapes. Select rectangle, drag it out drop it in the middle and we're going to resize this. Let's do, let's do 300. So I'm going to go down until I hit 300 by, let's do 150 or a hundred. Let's do a hundred. Let's see. Just like that. So width is going to be 300. Height is going to be a hundred. I'm going to center it just like that until it snaps right there. And I'm going to smooth out the borders. Let's do 50 on the borders like that. Perfect. All right. Now I'm going to color it a bit darker. I had it a bit darker here. Now this is a bit longer, but it doesn't matter. I guess you can shorten it up to maybe 200. But I'm going to keep it big. There we go, 300. That's good for me. I'm going to go here to the fill, click on it, just make it slightly darker. Something like that. Okay, cool. And now we'll just add a circle in the middle. So click here, eclipse. Holding shift, I'm going to drag out, let's do 50, let's see how this fits in here, okay, maybe a bit bigger. Now the cool part is, if you hold down shift, it's going to resize like that, but you can keep it in place by holding shift and option, and then if you drag up, it's going to stay right there. So I'm going to make this, oh, let's do 70, I'm going to change the color to white. And there we go, alright, so that's our toggle. Now I want to move this from here to here, but I want to make sure the distance from the position is the same. So the spacing here is the same and where it lands, it's also the same. So what I'm going to do is just drag it all the way till it snaps here to the edge and then holding shift and the right arrow key, I can just do 30 like that. Move it 30 pixels across. Cool. So now when we move it, I'm just going to create a duplicate one here. I can just go here to the edge and then one, two, three, and I know that the distance is going to be the same. Okay, so that's kind of the idea. All right, so we have that. Now, what we can do, if I just duplicate this artboard, so just do Control C, Control V, what I can do is just simply grab this, again, kind of the same thing that we did, one, two, three, and that should be it. Right, so click on this prototype up there in the corner and what I can do is just, I'm just going to do it on the background because we're going to reset the whole thing. So you don't need to follow along here, but drag it there, hit play, right? And you have the smart animate on. So here in the settings, as you can see, we have smart animate 850 MS. Okay, so I'm going to go here, click and boom, there we go. Now you probably won't have this um, this nice transition here, this easing, but we're going to remake it. So don't worry. Okay. So I'm just going to get rid of this because I want to do a couple more things before I, I move this across. I want to group everything up. So whether I click on the background or the button, the animation is going to run. But also, as you can see here, uh, we have this off button and then it goes to on. So let me hit play again. So as you can see, the off goes down and the on comes up. No, the other way. Wait. So yeah, off goes down and up also goes down, but from up. I swear I'm not high. 
There's no better way for me to explain that. I actually like this. This looks like a wiener here. <laughs> I don't know what I did with the sizing here. Let's make it thicker a bit. Uh, let's go to design. I'm gonna make this 150. Let's do 150. There we go. That looks much better. Does it? Ugh. 120. Yeah, about 120. There we go, by 300. So I'm gonna position this again. Just make this a bit bigger. 80. Move it across, so 10, 20, 30. Okay, so what I want to do is add some text on it. So go to text, click here and say off. I'm gonna grab it and just change the color to this gray that we have here. So clicking the eyedrop, boom, and just position it. Now you can pick whatever font you want. I picked Montserrat, bold. So that's cool. Now, when this is gonna go up like this, as you can see, it shows up here, right? But I don't want it to show up. I want it to hide when it goes up. So what you can do is create a mask of that circle. And when you create the mask of the circle, if it goes out of the circle, it's just gonna turn invisible, okay? So what we can do is just select the circle, this eclipse, duplicate it, so Control-C, Control-V. So as you can see, now I have two eclipses. And on this one, I'm just gonna click this mask button like that. So now it masks everything that's above. So in this case, only the text, right? So again, you can imagine that this circle is the only thing where things show up in and everything outside won't show up. So again, I can create whatever shape I want. There we go, we have this red eclipse. As you can see, if I move it around, it's only gonna show up in that mask. Okay, so now I'm gonna get rid of this, we don't need it. So when we move it up, look at that, it's perfectly gone. So that's cool. Okay, so we have that here. And what I'm gonna do is create the on button as well. So I'm just gonna duplicate this circle for now. So just holding option, dragging along. There we go. Now I cannot see it, so I'm gonna temporarily just disable the mask. Actually, what I did was I duplicated the mask, which we don't wanna do. So make sure you click on the eclipse here and not the mask and duplicate that. I'm gonna go on the mask and turn that off. All right, so now we just have two circles in here. That's pretty much what you want. So I'm gonna move this across, position it, because what I wanna do, one, two, three, move it in position. I wanna have the on text perfectly centered here that's gonna come down. So I'm just gonna duplicate this off and put it up here, like that, and change it to on, like that. All right, I'm gonna position it up here where it lines up with the center of this button, just like that, all right? Now, we don't need this anymore, so we can get rid of it. And now we're just left again with this eclipse and the mask. So if I turn on the mask, as you can see, the on button disappears. So perfect. Now, what also, what I wanna do is add a gradient to it, because as you can see here, when we click it, this has a gradient on it, and then the background changes as well. So I'm just gonna go disable the mask, go on the arm button and just add a nice gradient to it. So go here to linear, I'm gonna zoom in. There we go and just put this here and then put the other one there, just like that, okay? Now I'm just gonna pick two random colors. You can pick whatever you want, just like that. Cool, so that's pretty much it. Enable the mask. And now I'm gonna grab everything here, or you can just do that, I guess that's easier. And just group them, so right click and group, group selection. There we go, so now we have just one group, and we're gonna call it the button. There we go. So now, this is very simple, we just duplicate this, frame, so control C, control V on the frame. There we go. And here, all we need to do is take this off, Holding shift, I'm gonna drag it all the way up till it snaps right here. Okay, boom, right there. I'm gonna disable the um, the mask for a bit so you can see. Boom, just line that up there. Move this across here. Bring this down here. I'm holding shift so I don't move it around like that. Center it like that. That's it. We can turn the mask back on. 
Now, as you can see, I only moved the circle and I didn't move the mask. So as you can see, the mask is still there. So I'm gonna move this across as well, just like that. Okay, cool. And now we can just go to the background and add a linear gradient to it. And we're gonna use the same that we added to the text. So just move these around like that, click, click, and that should be it. Let's take a look. So now we can go on the button here, prototype. I'm gonna drag this to this frame and we're gonna have it on click, navigate to the MacBook 6, and we're just gonna use Smart Animate and I added 850 seconds. Now, it's not gonna look as good as you might think it will. If I click on it, as you can see, it's a bit, eh, not so nice. And what I also wanna do is from this one, I'm gonna drag it back here so I can toggle it basically like that. Okay, it doesn't look that good. But here's a cool thing that you can do. When I click on this button and on the prototype here, we can go to easing and actually select a custom one. And you can mess around with this curve however you like. What I did though, is I went to ease in and out. So the last one here, ease in and out back. So click on that one. That's gonna be quite cool, look at that. All right, I also want to do it when it goes backwards. So click on this one, ease in and out back, perfect. Let's see, boom, there we go. Now I can also customize this a bit more. So just go into custom now and increasing these lines. So I'm gonna drag it to its direction. So like this, right? At an angle, at a 45 angle. I'm just gonna keep dragging it out a bit more. Just like that, just to make it a bit more obvious. And now I can also just grab these coordinates here, copy it and add it to this one. So it's identical. So I can just paste it here. Let's see, now it's gonna have a bigger bounce. Boom, boom, and there we go. How cool, that's one. Now for the second one, let's do that very quickly. I'm gonna create another artboard. So MacBook 7, drag it down here. For this one, I'm gonna add a background like that. And I'm just gonna create a square pretty much. So go here to the shape. Add a rectangle, drag it out. I'm gonna make the width and the height the same, 200 by 200. All right, center this. I'm gonna add a bit of radius up here. Let's do 20. Change the color to white. I'm gonna add three lines now, kind of like a hamburger. So zooming in here, dragging it out. Let's do 100 just to keep it fixed. All right, make this a bit thicker, like three. I'm gonna change this, uh, the edges to round. So go in here, clicking round. Cool. So position this kind of in the center, like that. Maybe make it a bit bigger, four. And there we go. I'm just gonna hold Option and drag down, duplicate this two more times. And there we go. Still looks a bit off. <laughs> I'm gonna grab these, maybe make them a bit shorter. They seem too long. I'm gonna do 80 or so. I'm gonna move one of these a bit down like that because I want them a bit more spread. Holding shift, grab all of them. And I can go here and say distribute space vertically. And that's gonna put them nicely together like that. So just center them like that. Cool. And what I'm gonna do, maybe, <laughs> I'm still not happy about this. Make this five, seven, there we go, seven. That's quite nice. Uh, just change the color of them. Again, do a gradient, linear, click this. I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna keep them blue like that. Okay, so now just duplicate the frame. I'm gonna group everything, actually, before I do that, I'm gonna group everything in here together together, so grab the rectangle and the lines and group them. Where is the group? Where is you? Group selection, cool. And then duplicate it. I deleted this because I don't wanna do the same thing here, selecting everything and grouping. So 
Usually it's better off to kind of make everything here and then just duplicate it and everything is all set up and ready. So now, quite easy, all you do is go in here, grab the middle one and pull it till it becomes invisible. Like that. And now we grab these lines and just holding shift, I'm going to rotate it one, two, three times and dragging it down to the center. And I'm going to do the same thing to this. One, two, three. Dragging it up till it hits the center like that. Okay, so something like that. Cool. Now it looks a bit off actually, so I might need to move it a bit up. One, two, three. There we go. So something like that. Um, and for this, for the rectangle, since it's size is perfect, so 200 by 200, we can just increase the radius to make it a circle. So if I increase this to 50 or 100, it's just gonna become a circle. How cool is that? Okay, so that's kind of the idea. Now again, if this had a different size, the rectangle was like 300 by 200, this would have not worked. As you can see, it looks off. So now we just take this prototype, Literally drag it, same thing, same Bezier. Everything is gonna be remembered uh, from the previous um, artboard, okay? So you don't have to do anything else. So I'm just gonna go here and find it, which is this one. Click and take a look. There we go, we have our animation. Let's go back here, prototype and make it toggle. So I'm gonna drag it backwards to the frame. And there we go, look at that. That's it. You just made two awesome micro animations in, what was it, like 15 seconds with my blabbering and everything else. Uh, you could probably do better, but there we go. There's so much you can do with it. Masking is very underrated. Um, oh, I made it a bit smaller actually. This is what I did. The circle is gonna hold shift and option and just make it a bit smaller. Hold up, hold up. Click on this, there we go, so something like that. Let's see, yeah, there we go. Let's make it a bit smaller, that looks much better. Okay, there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little video. I promise I'm gonna do some programming because it's been a while. I've been doing just design videos for probably the past month and a half. So I'll be on it, don't you worry. If you want to check out my courses, please do. I have one on HTML and CSS on JavaScript and React. So probably do those in order if you're interested. I have some awesome projects in there. I highly recommend you check out the trailers. But that's going to be it for me. Uh, until next time, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to act like I do.